In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever. You can sail the seven seas. books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food Market in Britain. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Laszlo. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, I mean it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, Laszlo. Actually, you know, nothing like ice cream on pizza. Ice cream is no faith, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant. And pizza, as you may know as well, is a sandwich derivative of Italian origins, but I won't go on. Martial arts are about discipline and physical empowerment, not watching football and eating junk food. You have to explore your mind and your digestive system, Laszlo. What you put in also comes out. <laughs> Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Laszlo, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment through character. Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Laszlo. This is the way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes, I even frighten myself. <laughs> no offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. It, it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual enlightenment. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. That low closed mind is like a closed fist, and karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. If you like deep breath, I think you'll really like Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damp hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting. She hates me. Hey, I 